So I hope that you guys can feel that through the screen. I hope you can feel the positive vibes. Poke Trainers, welcome back to yet another installment of Opening Packs with Poke Trainer Tim. Today, we are going to be busting into 10 of these Darkness Ablaze packs, and I am so excited. I hope that you're just as excited as I am, so let's go ahead and just jump into things, right? So I guess we'll start off with the blister, and then we'll go into the three-pack blisters. Does that make sense to just get it, get it out of the way, get this one and then that one, you know what I'm saying? So... I wanted to talk a little bit today about Darkness Ablaze, about Champion's Path, uh, and kind of talk about what I'm excited for in these packs. Um, obviously, everybody wants the Charizard in Darkness Ablaze, but that's not the only card I'm looking for. I really like the Salamence VMAX card. I really like the Scizor VMAX card. And some of the Golden Rare trainers are some of my favorite trainers. Like Rose is one of my favorite looking trainers. Uh, and the Pierce card is also one I'm super excited about. So hopefully we can make something happen along those lines. I went ahead and tore this first pack open as I was talking about that. So here is your code card today. One, two, three, four to the front. And let's get started. Fire Energy kicking things off with possibly Rose on front. Hmm. Hmm. Skarmory, okay, Pan Sage, Electrike, Fletchendinger thing, Mr. Mime, Flappy, oh nice, and a Rhyferior V card to kick things off. Man, if we're going to be pulling V cards first thing off the bat, then I have just the highest hopes for this week's episode. <laughs> Alright guys, so you know we do 10 packs every week, which leaves us with three, three pack blisters. I'm going to shuffle them around, and we'll just do this one first. How's that sound? So we'll bust into there, try to rapid fire the three packs for you, and get into the next one. So tear this guy open. One, two, three packs out of there. Let's go ahead and bust the coin out. Nice little coin here. Take a look at that. Shiny, shiny. And, of course, we had to pick these up because of the awesome... EV promo cards. Look how kick ass that EV promo is. My dog is named EV if you don't know these things already, which I'm sure you do, but I love this card and it will be going on my EV page. I think I showed you the code card, but maybe not, so just in case. We got the three packs sitting right here. Uh, maybe I'll just start off with the Charizard pack, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully we can slide in to home base with some awesome stuff in these 10 packs. But yeah, let me uh, let me know what you guys look for inside of the Darkness of Blaze packs. What is your chase cards? Uh, what are your kind of like secondary cards? Do you even care about Darkness of Blaze? I mean, all of these things would interest me. So let me know down in the comments below. Let's get the dialogue started. Alrighty, go let. Nice, look at that Blaziken reverse. That is actually super cool. I love that. And a little Vanillux, little ice cream cones. I could go for an ice cream cone right now. I'm telling you that much. We'll go ahead and bust right into the Grim Snarl pack here. Oh, I hope I didn't give away the color on that one, but I might have. It's okay if I did. Alrighty, one code card for you there. And we'll go four to the front. I almost did three for some reason. Energy. Lunatone. Nice. I like Lunatone a lot. Better than Soul Rock, anyways. Mm hmm. Make our way through here. Sentry just laying in the grass, relaxing. And Grubble non-holographic. Alrighty, the last of this triple blister, and we are looking at the Eternatus card on front there. So let's get this guy ripped open. We will show you that way. Sorry, I'm like trying to figure out how to do this. You'd think after seven or eight weeks of uploading pack openings, I would learn how to face the card so that the code card doesn't get ruined, but <laughs> I'm a slow learner, guys. Cape of Toughness, that would be a great pull. I think this is the pack that has the golden cape of toughness. I'm not positive though. Pan Sage and Diggerby non-holographic. So maybe this next three pack blister, I have something real good in it. Now let's go ahead and get this guy tore open. Not a whole lot of need, I feel like, to show off the Eevee card and the coin again. So I'll just let those sit off to the side. I'm double checking for swirls really quick. <laughs> So we'll go into these three now, and might as well start off with the Charizard artwork again. 
Uh, I guess to continue the conversation, as uh, I was talking about at the beginning of the episode, I want to talk a little bit about Champion's Path as well. Of course, last week I had a crazy Champion's Path opening, um, and it's gotten a really good response. So thank you to everyone that went over and checked that out. Um, if you're new to the channel and this is your first episode, well, first of all, welcome. Uh, please consider sticking around and hitting that subscribe button. Um, and secondly, you should go check out last week's video. It is quite the banger. What I wanted to say about Champion's Path is uh, I've really, I've had pretty good luck with Champion's Path and I haven't opened a whole ton of, um, you know, Darkness Ablaze. I would love to be able to get some more Darkness Ablaze and get my hands on it <clears throat> and see if I can't test my luck like I had with Champion's Path, but um, I was treated greatly by Champion's Path. Um, I opened three shiny Charizards. I've got a rainbow Charizard now. I have almost have a complete set. Um which I, I may or may not look to finish. I really got all my chase cards out of the set, so I don't know if I will, but who knows. It would be great to find out if any of you have a preference over Darkness Ablaze compared to Champion's Path. Like, if you saw one sitting in the store, what would it be that you went and picked up if you could only buy one of them, you know? Um, I think for me it would probably be Darkness Ablaze, just because I've opened so much Champion's Path now. And I'm talking right through this pull, but look how awesome this little Kangaskhan card is. Sweet! Another holographic to the day today. Um, which means we just very well may start pulling open some more and more good cards. Uh, we got one more pack in this three-pack blister. And then a whole other three-pack blister to dig into. So I hope you guys are enjoying today's episode. Man, I'm having way too much fun opening packs like this every single week. And I consider myself super fortunate to be able to afford paying for these packs and opening them. Um, I feel super fortunate to have an awesome following uh, where everybody talks a lot and has a dialogue. And uh, it, it just makes me smile, guys. It makes me so happy. So uh, I want to kind of reciprocate that with all the positive vibes that I can in my episodes. So I hope that you guys can feel that through the screen. I hope you can feel the positive vibes. Bonnelby, look at that, Toxel. A little bit more here. Skitty. Nice! Nice, dude! This is one of the cards I wanted. It's not the rainbow version of Rose. But look at that, guys! And you know how I am. I love those solid color geometric texture on the back of cards. Oh, this just made the whole pack opening worth it. <laughs> yes! That's awesome. Wow, I don't even know how I can follow that up other than hoping that maybe this one has the rainbow version of Rose. How cool would that be? Uh... Hit the thumbs up button if you think that we can make it happen. So, uh, once again, take a look for swirls on there. I don't know if we got any. And three more packs here. Once again, Charizard on the front. So, we're going to just dig right into things here. And kick into this third to the last pack. Oh, I forgot the card trick. What a bummer. It's a bummer when you forget the card trick. But that's okay. I feel like this is a deja vu. Did I just get a reverse Paris? And I were <laughs> what the heck? I saw all those cards and a Hydrogeon, which is really cool. I have the uh, the promo version of this card right behind me, so you can take a look at the difference there. The one in the plastic says thank you, uh, and I think it was a local game store promotion, uh, just as a thank you for shopping at local game stores. So I've got a couple of those guys. Just based off of all the times I bought cards here at my LGS. We got two packs left here. Darkness Ablaze. Man, I don't know about you guys, but I look forward to these videos every single week. Getting to chat with you. Getting to get things going. Getting to collect even more cards. I have become such the collecting nerd in the last few months. And I love it. It is the best feeling. Um, if anybody has an Instagram and wants to see some better uh, close-up shots of the cards that I pull, <gasps> what's back there, or anything like that, um, please let me know. It's down in the description below. Shoot me a DM. I'd love to talk to you uh, as well as I'm going to be doing a 200 follower giveaway over there, and I'm only about 20 followers off, so if you can catch that, that would be super awesome. <laughs> and take a look at this Scent of Scorch of E card. What a cool looking card. And I don't, I'm not super into Centiscorch, like through play, playthroughs on the game or whatever, but pretty sweet card artwork, I have to say. I gotta give it to him for that. 
we are down to the very, very, very last pack. And I'm just gonna get into it here. So we're gonna flip it around. I don't wanna spoil it. I don't wanna spoil it. I don't wanna, I probably spoiled it. We're gonna get it flipped around here. I gotta show you the code card. As always, I try to give away all the code cards I can. I mean, I don't really use TCG, so it, it kind of just makes sense for me to pass them all along to you guys who do use TCG. Um, I wish that I had played the game more. I guess I'm just into the Pokemon video games a little bit more than the trading card game as far as playing it. Collecting, on the other hand, I've got way more Pokemon cards than I do Pokemon games. So <laughs> I guess that's kind of my vice versa. And non hollow Swanna on the end there. Hey, look, not every last pack can have that fire magic in it. <laughs> I hope you guys really enjoyed this week's episode. If you liked today's video, uh, please let me know by giving me a like, uh, comment down below, talk about some of the things I asked in the episode. It'd be great to hear from you. Other than that, if you really, really liked today's episode, you should consider subscribing. I'm going to be doing episodes like this every Thursday uh, and be doing Nuzlocke episodes every Sunday. Here on out, I might add some conversation discussion videos in the middle of the week, but I will keep you posted. Anyways, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic couple days until your weekend. Peace.